Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We are playing for the Aladdin achievement, and I decided to uh, do some little wars, and unfortunately, Perm, Perm was able to bring in more than I expected. Uh, it didn't help that uh, there were some severe winters going on up here that uh, really, really chewed into my uh, troops, but, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, let's see, don't care about that. County of Banu has been converted to the Jewish faith. Don't care about that. Uh, don't care about those. Biarmia. Don't care about those. Yeah, you're looting, I don't care about that. Okay. Uh, and unfortunately, we did lose a fight down here. What do you want? You want her. Okay, that's fine. Alright, back in we go. I need more, uh, I need more commanders. Um, there we go. I've received word from my co-conspirators, Hafez, uh, uh, from my co-conspirator Hafez, that the bowmen are in place and waiting for the right moment to strike at Darab. Uh, might take care of that. We are committed then. Okay, we are fighting there. Take that back. They're going to take back a lot of this stuff, I'm sure. There we go. Alright, Foth is, uh, has been imprisoned. Head in there. Just have to try again. All right, we're at sixty nine percent with that. You should really, guys, you should really be taking care of that. I certainly don't want to. <laughs> there we go. Take that back. Take that back. 100%. Offer peace. Enforce demands. And... Why did you... Why are you not in my court? Fine. You can just die then. He may have gotten that money. All right, we need to bring you guys up here. One of you is going to come up through here. Hopefully this will slow you down enough that you won't be uh, in the same places.
Okay, let's get down here. Yeah, they're taking that stuff back. It's fine. I'll take this stuff back. That'll uh, add a lot of war score. Okay. Let's get back up there. A mystic appears. Your Jingchun Sima Hongjian looks lost for words. Master, I am not sure what to think. He shakes his head as he searches for the correct way to phrase himself. My emperor, she is impressive. I can't quite put my finger on it. Not to mention she has traveled far. His face convey conveys uncertainty as he shifts his weight. I see, you say, scratching your head. Hongjian breaks the silence. My lord, I can still send her away. What say you? Uh, let us hear this woman out. Fatim appears. There we go. Alright, that gets us up to 33%. What are we looking at in terms of supply limit? Only 7k. Okay, so we're down to 1. We've got Socotra here. Uh... You are Jewish. Might be able to do a de jure claim on that. I don't think I need these ships anymore. Ooh, there's a Byzantine revolt. I'm definitely going to want to take care of that. Mandy, uh, West African pagan. Interesting. You're a pretty good marshal. Will not marry. The tall figure offers you a nod, but does not smile. She eyes you skeptically, measuring you up as much as you are her. Uh, her clothing, possibly intended to be modest, is foreign to you, and you have trouble concealing your confusion. In fact, the warrior woman before you is bound to stand, stand out in your court in more ways than one. I'm Fatim. You are Jingzong, she says, as if somebody had forgotten to introduce you. Perhaps you should have spoken the first words to assert your position, but the muscular woman makes you more than a little nervous. I hear you are looking to live forever, she finally says, more a statement than a question. I can help. Uh, Alright, so her base marshal is nine. The fact that it is nine, I'm hoping, because I, I think that uh, when the score is low, they're false. So I'm hoping that a 9 means that uh, she is not uh, false. Uh, I will accept your teachings. Fatim, eternal life must be nine. mine. This is outrageous. Leave at once if you want to keep your head. Blasphemy in the name of God. Imprison this filthy heretic. Uh, no. Temple vassal opinion minus 25. That's fine. I get sympathy for pagans. Uh, let's see. Emperor has died. He has been succeeded by another one. Uh, Arab cultures but frowns on eunuchs. Believes in open China. Business as usual. A serious concern. Princess Zheng Jinu joins you after supper one evening. She initiates... Uh, lost my place. She initiates a conversation about the status of trade in the realm, but you notice that she seems distraught. You interrupt Jinu and demand to know why she has sought you out. My dearest father, I fear for your life, she says earnestly and seizes your hand. Who is this sacrilegious heathen that you have invited to your court? Her promises are sweet, I am certain, but she cannot be trusted. Please, father, allow me to find out her true motive before it is too late. I just noticed that she is, uh... 
She's betrothed to the uh, the Duke of Kipchak, and she's 38. They're not going to be having many kids, are they? Ah, she was married to uh, the King of Mongolia. I see. Uh, let's see. No. Yeah, go ahead. Better to be safe than sorry, I suppose. Let's see, you have died. You're still being... Yep, yeah, still hand, that's good. Kennedy of Palmyra has converted to Jewish. Uh, Kamarup and Holy War. Don't care about that. County of Haya has been converted to Jewish faith. Iraqi Revolt War. Monophysite Heresy has appeared. All is well. Late one night, there is a knock on the door of your study. You open the door to find Princess Zhang Jinu standing there. You make a gesture for her to enter and asks her to take a seat. Gino nervously twists her hands together and it takes her a moment to formulate a sentence. Please forgive me, Father. It appears I was mistaken. From everything I have seen, Fatim appears seems to be most trustworthy and knowledgeable. Do forget everything I said. I am sorry I caused you any trouble. I'm glad to hear it. Reports have reached us that traders and travelers are being harassed. Send my marshal to deal with it. Excellent work. Truce is expiring with the Tulanids. Actually, you know what? Let's go up there and kill them. In honor of the ancestors. Fatim sits on the floor when you enter the room, what looks like polished pieces of bones strewn out in front of her. She motions for you to join her. You have neglec neglected your spirit, she says. Oh, I don't know about that. But okay. You shift uncomfortably in your seat. I have not, you mumble. <laughs> her eyes open at this and she stares at you, a steely cold look, and you retract your statement. You must sacrifice, she declares. Very well, you reply, thinking you'll have... You'll have your learned Kohen Gadol Dao Guyan see to it. As if she could read your mind, Fatim shakes her head. You must do this on your own. Do you see what I see? You notice a pattern in the bones. It looks just like an antelope. How curious. Oh my god! A field of crops. Beautiful. You will perform the sacrifice using a barrel of the finest grain in Dunhuang. Uh, you will perform the sacrifice using an antelope ordered from far away. A man falling. What do you want from me? Uh, I feel like the antelope is the one that I have to do, but oh god, that, oh, the pain. I'll take the, uh, the risk. Hey, I get a golden sword. Not bad. Right, right about now I'm kind of wishing that I could sell things. <laughs> and a son was born to you. Let's go ahead and go with Struggle Focus. Yeah, it's gonna... We're gonna be getting a lot of the, uh... These events. Okay. You died, uh... You died mangled and severely injured. A mangled mess. Oh, wow. Um, well, you want to be on there, so that's fine. Alright, so we have not converted that yet. Let's get down there. The Grateful Dead. Fatim hands you a beautiful dagger. The antelope held down on a stone slab is surprisingly calm. 
Thank you, you say quietly to the animal. You hesitate only a second before slicing its throat. The blood pours down the altar and Fadim nods solemnly. Your heart flutters at the notion of having passed this strange statuesque character. Your grandfathers and mothers would be proud, Fadim announces. Thank you for having me do this. I gain one marshal. Ooh. Promising student. That's a lot of money for that, though. It's going to take a while to uh, replenish this as well. Actually, I should stay here and take that stuff. There we go. Now let's go in there. Where are my other troops? Okay, well, I'm going to suffer a little bit of attrition, maybe. Uh, Alexandria has died. We do have a thrift focus, so that's good. Can I ransom anyone? Sure. Oh, Teutonic Order it just expanded a bit. Let's just stay on that spot. We're at 71%. Oh, holy cow. Ah, oh, they brought in more troops. Uh, I have to wait for one of these guys to come up. I am getting some uh, pretty hefty uh, levy penalties and an orthodox uprising all the way down here. that again, uh, right. You're Levantine? Oh. That's because this county has not converted yet. You only have seven stewardship. Get that county converted to Jewish, please. I mean, not, not Jewish Han. Okay, let's get up there. Okay, I guess we're getting out. I have inherited uh, this this guy's barony um, down there. All right. Well, which one was that? Oh, right, it always, uh... Oh, make that the county capital, please. Create new vassal. There we go. You're, you are an architect, but whatever. 
disaster. Your fellow member of the Hermetic Society, Mayor Yong of Rojan, has been caught by court rabbi Lada Hakandra and his warriors. They spared no time before they burned him at the stake. It is a sign for me to lay low. I guess. You want to marry her? She's 18. Sure. Well, we'll get in there and take care of that in a moment. Large merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived. Sure. Let them in. Uh, someone's trying to murder you. That's fine. I don't care. Tell us more about the mythical realm of Hindustan that I mostly control. Okay, Ethiopian, 12-12, eh, not all that great. I'll accept it, though. Thank you. You can be executed. New great house has risen. Wow, you're pretty awful. Because <laughs> uh, you died a sickly infant. go up there and kill them. Uh, no. Let's take that back. I need my ticking war score. Don't care that much about that one. Taking war, war score back. Fedim's sacred jar. Fedim knocks on your door one evening, carrying a large ceramic jar, animal motifs and ornaments encircling it. Puzzled, you invite her in and pull out two chairs. Student Xing Zong, I am pleased with the with the sacrifice you performed. She says, sitting down on the floor. She places the jar in front of her. Your ancestors are surely appeased, but I thought it would be a good time to prove to them your strength further. As she removes the lid from the jar, you hear a hissing noise. A large snake spring launches at you, and you are left to your instincts. Grab the snake by the neck. You will attempt to wring the neck of the snake, risking its venomous fangs. While more likely to succeed, this seems more dangerous. This seems dangerous. Reach for a heavy object. You've spotted a large book on the table next to you, and you will try to block the snake with it. A more defensive strategy. Run! You flee the room screaming. Fatima is disappointed and leaves your court. Let's be risky. The Serpent's Kiss. Oh, 25% chance I die. Before you have even before you have even time to react, the snake bears its fangs. Heading straight for you, seemingly flying, it bites you in the neck. The creature hisses, slithers around you, and moves upwards. No, not the face! You yell, flailing your arms wildly. Fatim, help me! After what seems like an eternity, Fatim rises from her spot and steps in to grab the snake by its neck. Her voice... Ah, oh, she's going to leave. All right, I don't feel so good. 25% chance that I die. Doesn't look like I'm dying. But I am lo missing out on that. Missing out on uh, becoming immortal.
Ah, good. 100%. There we go. And let's see. That is mostly ready for upgrading, but I don't really care right now. Oh, there's a hospital here? Holy cow. Fully upgraded, fully upgraded. Not quite upgraded, but they'll probably uh, automatically adopt anyway, so. Well, I didn't die, at least, but I didn't become immortal. So I am rather disappointed. Okay, let's see. What is the duchy capital? Okay, Mancia. You can have Mancia. You can have Yamalia. You can have Kantia. And you can have Narum. So that was a lot harsher than I anticipated, to be honest. It was, uh, it was a bit annoying. Not gonna lie. We've upgraded that to a castle already. Alright, now, Mongolia. I'm going to transfer these to you. Let me see what that is. Oh. Whoops. There you go. Not sure why I had that. But whatever. there. Alright, well. Get rid of all of you. Alright, all my troops are uh, put down. I have lost a lot, but that's the way it goes. Um, I do need to take care of you guys. See how that goes. And let's see. I can usurp the High Chieftain of Yugra. Well, why don't I just do that? And I'll just grant that directly to you. Why can I not grant that? Did I grab the wrong one? Did I grab the wrong one? Kingdom of Turkestan, Kingdom of Delhi, Kingdom of Yemen, Kingdom of Kabulistan, Kingdom of Israel, Kingdom of Al Bahrain, Duchy of Jiuquan, Duchy of Turkestan. Huh. I 
I cannot afford the 100 gold. Okay. So let that happen. Thank you. Now I can use Serpent. I think I may have misclicked or something. I don't know. Duchy of Yudra. There you go. You can have all those guys. There we go. Alright. Uh, hopefully they will upgrade their holdings pretty quick. Uh, but we'll see if that happens next time. And it looks like the uh, attempted holy war against these guys failed as well. So that's unfortunate for them, but oh well. Uh, very, very tempted to go after this uh, Byzantine revolt here. Um, there are two duchies amongst that. Uh, and the two linens. Then again, I do kind of need to get money back, so maybe we'll let that happen. Anyway, that will be next time. See you then, everyone.